Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video about the Jack Weston Daily Cars Passages and their comparison to other Cars materials for the MCAT. So Jack Weston is a guy who apparently tutors in cars. He has Cars courses, he has Cars full-length tests, but the main resource that everybody uses, or at least on Reddit slash MCAT and a lot of SDN and all these forums, everybody recommends is these daily free cars passages uh, that Jack Weston puts out. So I personally did two to three months of these passages, I want to say. I did it from December to March of last year, a passage or two passages every day for that whole period of time and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna give you my review and what I think of that compared to other resources first thing to note Jack Weston in comparison to the AMC materials in comparison to you world in comparison to the Khan Academy passages Jack Weston is by far the easiest of all the resources that you'll be using um, and that that's something to keep in mind because you'll be getting a lot more questions right then you will be on other resources whenever you're using this as a practice material. This can lead to a, I guess, inflated sense of accomplishment because you'll be getting a lot more of these questions right than when you're using other resources or on full length exams. So it's important to use these Jack Weston daily passages as almost a timing resource. You, you know, read the whole passage and use it as a timing resource rather than, uh, I don't know, basing how good you're doing off the number of answers you've answered correctly or incorrectly. Because in my experience, and I think a lot of other people's experience, is that Jack Weston is a tad bit easier than other resources. Also, I'll note, don't read the comments after the passage. So after you finish the passage, there's usually a section where people type comments. And usually in those comments, people will say the number they got correct out of the total number of questions and then the time they did them in. And there are people with ridiculous comments on there like 6 of 6 in 4 minutes 31 seconds or something like that. And you just got 4 wrong and you took 10 minutes to do the passage. So that can, in my opinion, only lead to a spiraling cycle of self-doubt. So it, it's not worth it to go in those comments, in my opinion. That's just me. But uh, yeah, so don't really read into those comments. I think it's uh, something that Jack Weston, the tutor, has them do comment on each uh, on each passage to track their progress. Um, and then sometimes people criticize the passage and... and you know, talk bad about it and stuff. So that's kind of funny to read. But in general, I'd say stay away from those comments. So here's how I would rank the Jack Weston passages in comparison to other MCAT resources for cars. So I would go with the AMC question packs first. So that's that AMC prep material, the official material. I'll leave a link down, down below, but that's going to be the most similar to actual cars on the exam. And be aware that question pack is hard. That first one's very hard, but it is the most similar to the actual AMC material and your AMC full length, so that's going to be your best resource. Uh, the second one, I would say, is the Khan Academy passages, and this is on the Khan Academy website. Um, they made it in conjunction with the AMC, so this is also going to be the second best resource that you can use because it's the most similar to the actual exam material. Uh, then thirdly, I would say UWorld did a little bit better of a job than... Jack Weston, from my experience, this is just my opinion, and yeah, so I, I think UWorld had a little bit tougher of questions, and they also did steal some questions from the AMC question packs, and articles, and uh, and passages from there, so be aware of that, UWorld does steal some stuff, um, so maybe you don't want to do that, uh, it's really, you know, up to you whether you don't want to do that, so AMC materials, um, Khan Academy, number two, U World number three, and then I I put Jack Weston at number four, uh, just because of their difficulty. They're a little bit easier, a little bit easier to read too, and the answers to questions are a little bit easier than those first three resources that I said. So I'd rank them fourth in my materials, and then fifth and last would be any full length cars section. So if you took Kaplan third party full length or next step third party full length 
those are not going to be that accurate compared to the real thing. So I wouldn't read too much into the scores of those exams. I will include links to all those resources down in the description. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. And yeah, so if those links aren't working, please tell me I'll update them. So take anything that I said in this video in a with a grain of salt, definitely, because cars was my worst section on the MCAT, but I improved it by three points, which I don't know how much that is, you know, a few percentiles. So I did improve from a 122 to a 125. That's just average. That's barely above average, even below average in some circumstances. So I was not the best at cars. It was my lowest section by at least two points. I did watch a video last night of a guy who did a great video on cars and how you can improve. Uh, his name is NextGenMD, uh, and I just like his approach and methodology to improving cars. Um, so yeah, I'll link that video down in the description below, and uh, if you follow his tips, I'm sure you'll do better, um, but this is just my personal view. So as always, follow me below, um, subscribe to my channel, and like the video. Uh, yeah, so I'll have my Instagram below. Please follow me in there, and I'll be coming out with more videos soon. So uh, thanks for watching.